Hello and welcome to Neurology Made Easy. Today's topic is peripheral versus central nystagmus. So today I will tell you differences between these two. So let's begin. First difference is severity. Peripheral nystagmus is mostly more intense as compared to central nystagmus. So I repeat, peripheral nystagmus is mostly more severe as compared to central nystagmus. Se second point is that peripheral nystagmus is usually paroxysmal while central is mostly continuous. So P and P, peripheral paroxysmal, central continuous. The third point is that Peripheral nystagmus is usually affected by position, whereas central is not. Nausea is nausea and vomiting are present in both, but they are usually more pronounced in case of peripheral nystagmus and less pronounced in central nystagmus. The next point is that direction of nystagmus in case of peripheral nystagmus can be horizontal, torsional, vertical or mixed. But in case of central, it's pure horizontal, pure torsional or pure vertical. The peripheral nystagmus is usually fatigable while central nystagmus is usually not fatigable. So this is another difference between these two. Next point is that in case of central nystagmus, you can find other signs and symptoms also related to the central nervous system. Whereas usually other neurological signs and symptoms are different are absent in case of peripheral nystagmus. The peripheral nystagmus also has latency that is, latency is present before onset of nystagmus or vertigo in case of peripheral nystagmus, while in case of central nystagmus, it is not present. And the last point is that the intensity of nystagmus is decreased by gaze fixation in case of peripheral nystagmus, and it is usually unaffected in case of central nystagmus. So these were the differences. If you like it, please share it with others and subscribe. Thank you.